Yashar, Jasher, 13. And Terach took his son Avram and his grandson Lot, the son of Haran, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, the woman of his son Avram, and all the souls of his household, and went with them from Ur Kazdim to go to the land of Canaan. And when they came as far as the land of Haran, they remained there, for it was exceedingly good land for pasture and of sufficient extent for those who accompanied them. And the people of the land of Haran saw that Avram was good and upright with Elohim and men, and that Yahuwah, Eloheyu, was with him. And some of the people of the land of Haran came and joined Avram, and he taught them the instruction of Yahuwah and his ways. And these men remained with Avram in his house, and they adhered to him. And Avram remained in the land three years. And at the expiration of three years, Yahuwah appeared to Avram and said to him, I am Yahuwah, who brought you forth from Ur Kazdim and delivered you from the hands of all your enemies. And now, therefore, if you will hearken to my voice and guard my commandments, my statutes, and my Torah, then will I cause your enemies to fall before you, and I will multiply your seed like the stars of heaven, and I will send my blessing upon all the works of your hands, and you shall lack nothing. Arise now, take your woman and all belonging to you, and go to the land of Canaan, and remain there, and I will there be unto you for an Elohim, and I will bless you. And Avram rose and took his woman and all belonging to him, and he went to the land of Canaan, as Yahuwah had told him. And Avram was fifty years old when he went from Haran. And Avram came to the land of Canaan and dwelt in the midst of the city. And he there pitched his tent amongst the children of Canaan, inhabitants of the land. And Yahuwah appeared to Avram when he came to the land of Canaan and said to him, This is the land which I gave unto you and to your seed after you for ever. And I will make your seed like the stars of heaven 
and I will give unto your seed for an inheritance all the lands which you see. And Avram built an altar in the place where Elohim had spoken to him. And Avram there called upon the name of Yahuwah. At that time, at the end of three years of Avram's dwelling in the land of Canaan, in that year, Noah died, which was the 58th year of the life of Avram. And all the days that Noah lived were 900 and fifty years, and he died. And Avram dwelt in the land of Canaan, he, his woman, and all belonging to him, and all those that accompanied him, together with those that joined him, from the people of the land. But Nehor, Avram's brother, and Tarach, his father, and Lot, the son of Haran, and all belonging to them, dwelt in Haran. In the fifth year, of Avram's dwelling in the land of Canaan. The people of Saddam and Amorah and all the cities of the plain revolted from the power of Kidola Omer, king of Elam. For all the kings of the cities of the plain had served Kidola Omer for twelve years and given him a yearly tax. But in those days, in the thirteenth year, they rebelled against him. And in the tenth year, of Avram's dwelling in the land of Canaan, there was war between Nimrod, king of Shinar, and Kidol la Omer, king of Elam. And Nimrod came to fight with Kidor la Omer and to subdue him. For Kidor la Omer was at that time one of the princes of the hosts of Nimrod. And when all the people at the tower were dispersed, and those that remained were all scattered upon the face of the earth, Kidor la Omer went to the land of Elam and reigned over it, and rebelled against his Lord. And in those days when Nimrod saw that the cities of the plain had rebelled, he came with pride and anger to war with Kidorla Omer. And Nimrod assembled all his princes and subjects, about 700,000 men, and went against Kidorla Omer. And Kidorla Omer went out to meet him with 5,000 men. And they prepared for battle in the valley of Bebel, which is between Elam and Shairnar. 
and all those kings fought there. And Nimrod and his people were smitten before the people of Kidorla Omer. And there fell from Nimrod's men about 600,000. And Mardan, the king's son, fell against them. And Nimrod fled and returned in shame and disgrace to his land. And he was under subjection to Kidorla Omer for a long time. And Kidorla Omer returned to his land and sent princes of his host to the kings that dwelt around him, to Aryak, king of Elakar, and to Tidal, king of nations, and cut a covenant with them. And they were all obedient to his commands. And it was in the fifteenth year of Avram's dwelling in the land of Canaan, which is the seventieth year of the life of Avram. And Yahuwah appeared to Avram in that year, and he said to him, I am Yahuwah, who brought you out from Ur Kazdim to give you this land for an inheritance. Now, therefore, walk before me and be perfect and guard my commandments. For to you and to your seed, I will give this land for an inheritance from the river Mitzrayim unto the great river Parat. And you shall come to your fathers in peace and in good age, and the fourth generation shall return here in this land, and shall inherit it for ever. And Avram built an altar, and he called upon the name of Yahuwah, who appeared to him. And he brought up sacrifices upon the altar to Yahuwah. And, rather, at that time, Avram returned and went to Haran to see his father and mother and his father's household. And Avram and his woman and all belonging to him returned to Haran. And Avram dwelt in Haran five years. And many of the people of Haran, about 72 men, followed Avram, and Avram taught them the instruction of Yahuwah and his ways. And he taught them to know Yahuwah. In those days, Yahuwah appeared to Avram in Haran, and he said to him, Behold, I spoke unto you these twenty years back, saying, Go forth, 
from your land, from your birthplace and from your father's house, to the land which I have shown you, to give it to you and to your children. For there, in that land, will I bless you and make you a great nation and make your name great. And in you shall the families of the earth be blessed. Now, therefore, arise, go forth from this place, you, your woman, and all belonging to you. Also, everyone born in your house and all the souls you have made in Haran and bring them out with you from here and rise to return to the land of Canaan. And Avram arose and took his woman Sarai and all belonging to him and all that were born to him in his house and the souls which they had made in Haran. And they came out to go to the land of Canaan. And Avram went and returned to the land of Canaan, according to the word of Yahuwah. And Lot, the son of his brother Haran, went with him. And Avram was seventy-five years old when he went forth from Haran to return to the land of Canaan. And he came to the land of Canaan according to the word of Yahuwah to Avram. And he pitched his tent and he dwelt in the plain of Mamre and with him was Lot, his brother's son, and all belonging to him. And Yahuwah again appeared to Avram and said, To your seed will I give this land. And he there built an altar to Yahuwah who appeared to him, which is still to this day in the plains of Mamre.